4.46 p.m. Oh, yay! That's oh, lovely, the breeze. Mm. Oh, I'm hoping again, you know that it's me. <gasps> you can't make your mind up, can you? No. Mind you, I'm not going to be saying that in front of Noosh. Because in case it's no me and she's upset at having to go. Whatever will happen, will be. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. Que sera, sera. 8.48 p.m. Say, speak to her first quickly because obviously I am a girl. I just say John wants to come and be you first, but obviously I will be there. <laughs> Flap. Take you out. Yeah. Oh boy. I don't even bite my nails, what am I doing? 8.51 pm. Right, my wine's over there, cigarette. Right, it's all John's cool. coming with you and I'll be in a bit. Okay, okay. Right, I'm gonna have a sticky too. Right. Do you want to oh, bring, bring some cider? Bring some cider, bring some cider. John's gonna give you the cup at all. Okay. 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 Oh, ashtray, ashtray, ashtray. Oh, it's good. It's all good. It's all good. Good. I feel like I should yeah, I be in there. Mm -hmm. We'll go in in a minute. John just wants to get his piece out that's to do with. Whoever left this week, he said he'd tell them things. Yeah, but he shouldn't be doing that. Well, I didn't know, want to know. He shouldn't be doing it now, I don't think. Well, he said he said to say so that before they go, he was going to give me a little um, four minute talk, like you know. Yeah, says, but let's get ready first. For God's sake. He'll do it when, when she's get getting ready. ready or something. Don't don't worry, stuff. He won't say anything silly. Do you know what I mean? He's he knows the score. Big Brother rules state that as a returning housemate, John is not permitted to disclose any information from the outside world. Um, first <laughs> off, I have to tell you something which I'm under no obligation not to say, but I cannot win this thing now. Um, it's in the rules that someone who's been evicted can't win. Well, that's a shame. Um, so I'm just in here to keep you company for two weeks. Well, you've been very jolly good company. Okay, thank you. Right. There are some things that I've learned over the last three weeks uh, about the media. One of the things that people told me in the intervening three weeks was they hoped I made a lot of money out of this when I met people on the street. My response to them was um, that you have to do things to earn money. Good point, John. Okay. Now, you only have a week left before the Big Brother thing runs its course, so mm -hmm. you have to be very careful or very, very sensible about what you do to earn money um, because this is your week of earning potential, maximum earning potential. Um, the decision that you have to make at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and no later because that's when things have to start moving is whether you want to sell your story to the national press because the most amount of money you can make is on the Sunday papers. Right. Okay. Judge. Sorry if there's a hump for my ass. Come here. I'm the last girl. Cool. <laughs> Imagine. 
You're the last girl. Uh. Until the next one comes in that door. Oh, no, mm-hmm. tonight. Oh, imagine if somebody else... No way. It couldn't No, happen. no, 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 no. That would be old heart. It would have been done. What's John saying to him there? Don't worry Steph, about what John's worrying about saying. it. You're fretting. Your toes tapping. I still think it's right. I don't think he should be in It's nothing to do right. It's nothing to do with us. He's just saying something that's like... You know, expect this, expect yeah, but that. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy. I'd want to wait until I was sorted myself, up, sorted and ready to go. He's, he's not doing anything nasty. He's not doing anything nasty. It is, and I've done it once on the way out and once on the way in. Going through that crowd is a once in a lifetime experience. Whatever they do to you, and I have no idea what they will do to you, enjoy it. Because you'll never, ever have an experience like that again. Okay. I'm really scared. You know, you shouldn't be. Um, this is Big Brother. Could John please come to yeah, the diary room? I'm not finished yet. You shouldn't be saying things. No. I can imagine. I can imagine. He's been treading on thin ice and gone too far. John, come out into the diary room. Things that this could be making it worse for her because the fact is she will know in due course whatever. No, no, she would not say, but I think she'd rather not know. John, don't leave it too late for fuck's sake. Okay, I'm going to be throwing out with you now. So, uh, no, I'm... no, 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 don't tell me more, don't tell me more, don't tell me more. No, no, more. Well, I'm going to give you a hug, just in case I am. You are the nicest people I've met in here. They tell you off, then they're... They're going to do more than that. Oh, shit. We've got, we have a TV programme to make. Oh, we've got people to make. Okay, right. Um, cool. John. I'll see you all guys in a week, then. Man. John, as you are probably well aware, your conversation with Nush is actually a breach of the rules regarding new housemates and information from the outside world. Yes. But you see, you have a TV, as I just said to her, you have a TV show to make. I have people to look after. John, tonight's eviction is about Nush and not about you. I know that, which is why I was very careful about what I told her. I didn't tell her what it was going to be like standing in front of the press or what it was going to be like walking through the crowd or what the interview with Davina was going to be like or what she was going to ask her. Um, John, Big Brother would appreciate it if you could now not say anything else to Nush regarding her eviction this evening or breaking any of the rules. Do you understand, John? Yes. Nine or nine p.m. In one hour's time, Nush will be evicted. I'm going to say when Buddy and I are you? What? Right, okay, let's go. Cool. Oh. <clears throat> I suppose the best say, yeah, it's going to be a shame. See you go. Bloody, bloody, blah. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm sad to go, but I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> sad to see you go. It Hello, is. I mean. It is. Exactly. So, you know, uh, I was unsure about him rushing in to speak, but he's not told you anything that's made you too worried, has he? No, just stuff that you don't, you know, that that's quite scary about. See, fucking... It isn't anything... I'm going to have a go at him later. No, 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 because what he said was actually quite nice. It wasn't anything bad. I'm going to come and prove Good. Well, I can... Number two out the girl, so that's kind of cool. That's very good. But it's because you can, and you can come outside and enjoy the last half hour with everybody. I got ready really quickly. Yes. So. You're like a million dollars, Nush. All green and crinkly. You've been up and down a little oh, bit this week. We have buddies. I made at least one very good friend. Yes, you have. <laughs> Who's that? John. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's good. I think I could well be next out the door, to be honest with you. Well, I hope not. I think it's possible. Mm. But who cares? It's been good. No, I do care, but it, uh, I think it's a possibility, judging by you what's going on. Do you want me to leave you to it for a minute? No, not yet. <sighs> Weird. <laughs> Ten.
10 or 6 p.m. Eleven twenty nine PM It's one hour and twenty two minutes since Nush was evicted. In seven days time the housemates will learn which of them will be the winner of Big Brother. It's nice to be able to just be honest, isn't it? In this environment. Definitely. The lighter a minute ago, where did I put it? Did I pick up the lighter a minute ago, where did I put it? There it is. You're right there then, John, you seem a bit sullen. Well, it's... Is it your first, your first experience of losing someone? Yes. Well, yes. Without it. Enough. Without the, the positive side of it not yeah. being me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That's um, what I mean. Your first experience of losing someone <clears> and just being sat here and that's it. Do you know what I mean? Obviously. No, I mean, you survived four, but what I mean is that it's the first one where you've been not part of it, just been mm. sat there watching it. And it is a different feeling, isn't it? Yes. And there are two secrets which aren't secrets which I can't possibly hide, which is A, that I loved Nush to bits. Yes. Well, you and me both. Uh, and B, that I didn't want her to see her go. Well, there we go. It's you and me both. Mm. I'm, glad you feel, I'm glad it's nothing else, because I'm sat there looking at you and you're looking bad and I'm thinking... I hope... Do you know what I mean? No, no, I know. Mm. We know all this. I'm listening. We heard cheers. Yes. And that allayed. I can't tell you how good I feel about that. So, there you go. I think she'll be fine. I think she'll be cool. And I'm just glad it wasn't that, that we heard because it would have made everybody feel worse in this last week. Yeah. Scott outwardly appears to be one of the most balanced housemates. However, he has consistently had the worst sleep pattern in the Big Brother house. Scott's sleep fragmentation index is high and he has continued to exhibit signs of a common sleep disorder known as parasomnia. This is due to internalised anxieties. Scott has used a variety of covert tactics to survive in the Big Brother house. Scott may appear very laid back, but he often controls conversational flow in a very complex way. On day 56, Scott uses a variety of devices to get Ray to reveal perhaps more than he intends. But I know I need to talk to you eventually. Yeah. You feel okay? I do, yeah. He takes the empathetic stance of a therapist to get Ray to disclose, but then immediately retracts his inquiry. What did you say? Well, don't tell me exactly what you said, but... Although Ray responds, Scott has already covered himself. He wants Ray's thoughts and feelings to be made public, and he uses a variety of strategies and cues to accomplish this. Big Brother asks Scott how he felt about the possibility of winning. When he says that he doesn't think that he's going to win, his hands display an unconscious clasp to stop too much information being revealed. You know, I'd feel like I, I didn't deserve it. Um... This is the single best behavioural indicator that he is not telling the truth. There is clearly more to Scott than meets the eye. The question is how much longer... Can he stay in control? 11.33 p.m. You know what I mean? In the first month, I didn't really... Didn't, didn't want how many chats like this did we have? No, no, no. So yeah, I, I warmed to you more, so maybe, maybe um, other people have. I don't know. It's easy with us as a smaller group, but I definitely wouldn't say there's a difference in you as such, but it's a slight thing, which is... I don't know, I definitely find it... It's easy for us to... To have a talk and all that sort of stuff, which is good. Is it they're licking their wounds? Huh? Hey, yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely. Bad, but this step, uh, fucking, this better not be the way it's gonna go. I really, I'll, 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 I'll let them do what they're doing to me. Hope, what you mean? Hope there's no divide. No, I fuck it, because this is seriously gonna wind me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really is. It, it's, 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 actually, yeah. it's making my blood boil right now. It really is. Did you feel a divide when we were sat earlier? What? In the kitchen and us. Did you feel a divide? Um. 
Slightly, but I like it. But even though it. it is actually making me fucking really pissed off. It don't really worry, Ray. I know, no, but I don't, it is really making me pissed off. I feel you, dude, because I think exactly the same. It really is. And I, I don't think, no, I don't think it's not do. It's still not because, because I know for a fact that they are delighted that you're here. But I hope they don't make a meal out of this. No, they won't. <laughs> Maybe they Not in the last fucking week, for God's sake, man. Fuck <laughs> it, man. I know. I'm gonna top up. Don't top up? No, thank you. So I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, now I'm fine, I see. Would you mind? You see, I had that tall glass, and it was half wine at the bottom and half lemonade. Could you yep. give me one of them, please? No problem. Where is it? It's on the white table. Is it a bit of a spritzer going on there? White though? table. The, They're quite sweet, though. It's too, I couldn't drink that's too sweet for me. Oh, I'm chuffed you're here, I'm chuffed you're here, I am. Really I will, I'll be more chuffed tomorrow morning. I'm still shocked. Come on, the last week. <laughs> <laughs> Should we join our colleagues? I'm looking forward to meeting them. Yes, you certainly will, next week. It's going to be a good one. As much as you feel bad about this going on. I'd love to know what John said to her. I don't know if you should have said it to her or whatever he you said. Should not have. I would have punched his legs out if you'd. I said, didn't I? I just said, do not tell me anything. anything. I would. It's um, something. But that almost ruins Lush's experience, this. as far as I'm she concerned. Says, I, I couldn't have lost 10 legs up there. Oh, oh that's nice of <laughs> it. Oh, that was a wet one. It wasn't wet, it just sounded wet. <laughs> yes, you farty pants are welcome. Oh, God. There's uh, water down here. Two forty one AM Steph is asleep in the girls' room. All the boys are in bed. So who's the famous person with the funniest name? He's got to be in the running. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh is he has one. Magnus Magnus. He what we what? <laughs> <laughs> What was that? What did he say? We were, we were. We were, we were. You know what he's saying, Scott? We Got him twice, that's good. Jesus, man. <laughs>
in six days' time, the housemates will find out if Scott, Ray, Steph or Cameron will be the winner of Big Brother. He's still here. How are you feeling? Bro. I think I was just so tense last night, I could not really relax. Tense know that I had been consciously worrying, but I suppose you do when you're... Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how it works. I I went out there, just got on her first night last night. I'm sure she had a good time. Guess she ran a muck. <sighs> Tired. I think she just would have liked to spend with the family or whatever. Probably got pissed and all, you know, had a few babies and a lot of I wonder if Jeff did turn up after all that. Mm. Sugar's burning, crystallising there. Yeah, uh, big one. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is it too hot? Um, it's too sunny for me to be sitting out there with no lotion on, so... <laughs> 1.42pm. John has gone back to bed. An old couple, they've just, he's got a, a tongue pierced, a belly button pierced, um, a nose pierced, ears pierced, loads. He's got his dick pierced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, some people, it's, 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 no shadow, but isn't it? It's suited, no yeah. mm. you know, Some people, it really looks nice on, do you know what I mean? I think a belly button one does look generally look good, but yeah. one through your knobs a bit. <laughs> I wouldn't go for it. No, it's not really to me. I'd be sure. Oh, Jesus. Nice, I've seen it as well. <laughs> oh, man. Where's, the pe where's it pierced through? Which no! Part? Stop through. spraying where is the bread. Where is it going through? <laughs> it goes through the eye. No! It does. It, does. Right. And it comes through. But like, they say there, it comes <gasps> through and then, like, just through right, the face. I don't want to hear any more about <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the helmet. Just right through the bottom of that. And <sighs> What did I do? Freeze it or something? When no, I do we'll be it? quiet. <laughs> <laughs> freeze it. Yeah. Like, Listen, he told here's me. a nice cube. Stick it. Stick it. <laughs> he told me when I was wincing when he was telling me. And he showed it to me one day. God. Cameron, like all the other housemates this year, has a clear understanding of the game. You have to have a strategy to survive. Most of the way through, Cameron has managed to refrain from imposing his moral values by finding an outlet for his criticisms. From week one, he used the diary room as a confession booth. Unburdening himself of his moral dilemmas and opinions may be why Cameron has the best sleep patterns in the house. His sleep fragmentation reveals he has better than average sleep. With a clear conscience, he sleeps like a baby. But following Cameron's return from South Africa, we saw a marked change in his behaviour. His increased confidence encouraged him to drop his guard <laughs> and accentuated his moralistic tendencies. He no longer confined his judgments to just the diary room. I could have kicked her backside and told her to shut up. Big Brother asked Cameron on day 56 how he would feel if he won. His body language revealed his gut instinct. We see Cameron physically withdrawing his upper body away from the question and straightening and stiffening his arms. This behaviour reveals his instinct is to back away from the prize. But to win? <laughs> With nominations no longer a threat, reaching the final week has increased Cameron's confidence. This could lead once again to him throwing caution and his tactics to the wind. 
finally, the lid may be lifted on the whole Cameron. 4.56 p.m. Cameron, Scott and Steph have gone back to bed. You got a bird, Ray? Hmm? You got a bird? No, boy. I didn't I wondered. I didn't know that about you. No. Not for anything, but... For how long? Hmm... A couple of months at least, anyway. Hmm. What kind of girl do you go for? Um, blonde hair. No worries. What about yourself? I used to say I preferred blondes. I'm not quite so sure. You're not so sure? No. It's got to be tall enough. I can't be doing with bending down. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't... I'm not into, like... Whatever they like, like, normally birds like, they got like the, the, the smaller mm. than myself, like, you know. Mm. It won't be like small, small, but just a bit smaller, like, you know. It's not what they look like, it's. Don't want a bashful girl. Well, that's mm. it, like, you know. She's got to be get, able to give as good as she gets. Well, so I wouldn't go out, but say, no matter how, how nice looking a girl is or whatever, if she can't make conversation. Oh, yeah. Or if she just. If she's starting to like going out and all this kind of stuff. Mm. Well, none of it. Well, she's got to have that spark. Seven thirty-three p.m. They've got to hear the farts, definitely. Yes. <coughs> the one I did that day, they must have. Were you there for the massive one? Yeah. On that couch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing. It's not been beaten yet. sort of noise it made. <clears throat> Steph is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. How does it feel to be the only girl left in the house? Um, it's funny actually because like this morning I got up and I sort of tidied the room a little bit and because I'm obviously I'm the only girl left in there and it's weird I suppose it hasn't properly sunk in yet and I wanted Cameron to stay not that I didn't want Nush to stay so I don't know. Um, I feel chuffed to bits. I'm the last girl left in. Absolutely, I can't believe it. I'm, there's only one girl left. It's me. It feels fantastic. <laughs> can't see any. 9:24 p.m. The housemates are completing their final weekly challenge. They have a total of five minutes to find five needles in a hair stack Big Brother has placed in the garden. There's a lot of straw there. For each needle found, they will win one night in the reward room this week. That's a comeback around even, so try this side, yeah. right in the middle. John found the first needle. With 17 seconds remaining, Scott is searching for another. That's it. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, Scott, good lad. Well done, Steph. Come for that plastic. Come for that big bud. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, you don't worry, man. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Two nights. Yeah. Wow, that was exceptional. Oh. Oh. You must be mad. Scott Wilson. Oh, well done, man. Well Wilson. done. Well done, Scott. Oh, well done, man. That is hard, isn't it? Jeez, at least you got uh, two out of it, anyway. 9.26 p.m. This is Big Brother. All housemates may now make their way to the Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! There's a dance floor oh and everything! My god. The housemates' final oh. reward room is a 60s lounge bar. And the shoes is as well! Yeah. Look at my shoes! Oh, cigarettes, never mind. Big Brother has provided a selection of canapes, olives, pretzels, wine, beer, cocktails, and costumes for the evening. Oh, can't go in the mood, eh? Aren't we all Frank Sinatra? 9.45 p.m. The housemates have been in the reward room for 19 minutes. Come on, what's the dance in the sixties? <coughs> what's the dance? Yeah. I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! 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 O
I'm gonna try one, definitely. You don't smoke. You don't inhale these. You, 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 you put the cream on in your mouth. Why'd they go red, you Don't you be taking fucking liberties with a banana daiquiri? <coughs> See you, mister. <laughs> What's it? It's a leaf or something, is it? That's wrapped in. Just tobacco leaf, that's it. Tobacco leaf. Roll on the thigh. Hand uh -huh. rolled on the bronze thigh of a poor Cuban factory worker. Hopefully a female. <laughs> Eleven eighteen PM. <laughs> That's a full one, isn't it? And I never use them. I've never used a chat up line. No. This is really I, if I, I go, this one we may use like before and I go, it actually it's worked, but annoying. if I had one last time wish I wish to be with you, and guess what? I'm dying. <laughs> That actually worked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually worked. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. It works. Mm. That's quite a sorry old sight, isn't it? It is, isn't it? When it worked. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what is it? No, you never worked on you, Steph? You sap. What? I never really get chatted up. You never go to, um. Well, no, but I do go out, but I've well, never, never really get chatted up. Well, you never go to look it. I don't ever really get chatted up. So whether it's the vibe you give off. But even if I thought somebody was dropped dead, I would not approach him in a billion years. Well, that's very. You know, that's very, uh, old fashioned. Isn't? No, it's not it's old fashioned. I'm quite old fashioned. I'm quite old fashioned. Mm -hmm. But even before, I was never that way. I've never been, I'm not a forward person with men. Not at all. I don't expect you have to be, Steph. You're a good looking lady. I'm quite oh, shy. Oh, thank you, John. She is. You were. Oh, you were, though. You were, though. Jesus Christ, you're not me, are Cheers, Ray. The fact that I know nice that makes me feel. <laughs> <laughs> All of the housemates this year have been guarded from the start. Ray has clearly felt that displays of negative emotion will affect his chances of survival in the house. Ray's bioactivity watch reveals his true response to feelings of intense stress. His sleep graph appears to be relatively stable and consistent. However, Ray's worst night's sleep so far was day 50 when John returned to the house. Ray is in fact as guarded as Scott, but he's just not as good at hiding his true emotions. <coughs> the more Ray tries to control his feelings, the more pent up he becomes. He typifies the frustration-aggression hypothesis. Ray's attempts to restrain his own negative emotions leads to psychological frustration and ultimately to aggression. I'm going to fucking hell. It's no surprise that Ray has had frequent outbursts. Jesus Christ, I'm fucking waiting. Go away. Jesus Christ, what are you doing now? Fucking Jesus. Although Ray obviously has a short fuse, in the main he has preferred to keep his head down and sit on the fence. As a result, Ray is easily swayed. It led him to nominate Noosh over Steph, which has had major implications for him this week. <sighs> on day 56, Big Brother asked Ray to the diary room to discuss his feelings about the possibility of winning. His genuine underlying thoughts leak out through his micro behaviour. Whilst reflecting on how much he would like to win Big Brother, Ray exhibits nearly 50 individual self adapters. A frequency of this magnitude suggests that Ray is experiencing high levels of nervous tension, usually only revealed when a thought is within the realms of possibility. And I think that. Um same as everybody you like, so I think definitely to, uh, to, to win it would be brilliant. Ray feels he has a clear chance of winning, but ultimately 
his control over his own behaviour is critical. 12.37 a.m. The housemates have drunk two and a half jugs of fruit daiquiris, 14 bottles of beer and one and a half bottles of wine. That was Bruce Springsteen. What a tune. What a tune. What a, what a man. 1.10 a.m. Big Brother is playing crowd noise into the garden to drown out the noise of people shouting from outside the Big Brother compound. After three and three quarter hours, Big Brother has closed the reward room and asked the housemate to return to the house. Excellent. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Look at this hair, Newman. It's not right. Why is all that noise out there? I don't know. I thought we'd been shouting. You look very suave. Well, it was much more 20s than 60s. I'll try some of this. No, but I quite, no, quite like that. Oh, well. Do 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 Has anybody seen my girl? Five foot two, eyes of blue. That's me. That's actually a real soul. Yeah, but that's me. I'm five foot two, my eyes are blue. I could have thought you were singing about me then, Cameron. It was not very good. It wasn't meant to be. That's the genuine lyrics. Three twenty six AM John has been in bed for one hour and eleven minutes. Two months at one week. That is a that we are in week nine now, aren't we? We're in week nine. Yeah, it's just it's just Did you fucking ask me mad. when I got in Scott you're gonna make it if on week nine we went no chance. For you, you should take it very, very. No, I uh, do. I think it's great. Good. I, I uh, if someone it. wants to have a chat, blah blah. blah as in, like, someone has a problem, we'll go to you and have a well, chat. I'm because I know where things go. When I was up in the first week, I thought, shit, I'm going to be up every week now. I honest, that's what I thought. Yeah. I thought I'm going to be up gonna every go, single yeah. week <laughs> till I go. Lads, six more days to go. Seven, five. What's that? What day? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday's the sixth day. 